Is that better? Can you hear me? I apologize. So hello, Kangafango. Welcome. Welcome. I said, I just said a whole bunch of welcome, and then asked if I'm repeating myself, which I quite obviously now am, even more. Hello, VGR, or Eliza, welcome. How is everybody? Everything going all right? So, Bona, 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 yes, hello. So, you might be able to hear some sounds in the background. And, well, so before we, before I switch over, originally, just call Bona because her name is impossible to pronounce. Okay, sure. Originally, I wanted to play a different game. Well, there, were, there was the tie between this and another game. The other game I can't really play at the moment because my middle click doesn't work properly and it's a long story. Well, it isn't long. It's, it's a bit of a frustrating story. It doesn't matter. So I'm not playing that yet. I need to get that sorted out first. So I thought, well, maybe I can revisit something that I've already played before. Something that I kind of left off because other stuff came up. And so I was looking through and I saw, well, the first one I saw was Dwarf Fortress, but I'm not quite ready to give Dwarf Fortress another go. I need to learn a little bit more of how that works first. So then I looked through and saw... No, not Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only been like a week, right? Exactly. If you look in on the game... Now, if you're watching this archived, you'll already know what this is. No, not KSP2. KSP2 has not been released yet. Okay, this is taking too long. You should... You, I don't know why you... Okay, this is taking too long. Let's accelerate this. Let's... You know, let's accelerate this. Uh, <laughs> yes, Kerbal Space Program. Yes, KSP1. Exactly. Let's switch over. Here we are. Now... I... few things to point out. One is... I've not played this since my last stream in, I think it was the 25th of June, last year. <laughs> Maybe it has released. Uh, what do you mean? Okay. The other thing I want to point out is that I don't know how this performs with OBS running yet. I just, a little while ago, I did quickly load into the sandbox game to have a look at what the performance was like but and it, it was it was it was it ran smoothly but i don't know what it's like with obs streaming because with trains it was significantly more laggy than the other thing so we'll have to see if this works if it doesn't work then i'll have to choose something else to play which is a little bit of a shame oh the lag in the menu yeah but the menu is often quite laggy. In-game it might be better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't touched the mod list. It's the same exact mod list, same save game as before. So... Hmm. Let's see. Let's have a quick look in the settings. What uh, are we using? Texture quality, half resolution... Let's see if I, if I turn that down to quarter resolution. That should smooth things over a little bit more. Hopefully it won't take ages to apply. Oh, I meant the stream. Twitch kept not loading, but it's fine now. Okay. 
Well. Hmm. Seems a little laggy, but we'll see. We'll see. I, <clears throat> where we last left off, we had just begun scanning the moon for resources. So, sp more specifically, uh, this is the, I want the uh, resources, there we go, or uh, because of a re potential refueling point to put on there. Now, this is a science game, so we've not got everything unlocked. Now, this down here, we, you can see at the bottom here, when I, I it goes away when I mouse over it, but at the bottom here, it says this is the far side crater, ore of 6.37%, which is the highest that we've found so far. And it's almost equatorial. I mean, this little bit is, in fact, equatorial. So setting, down, setting up a mining operation there would be great if we've got that stuff unlocked. I don't know if we do. But tell you what, let's quickly see what the performance is like. Let me just quickly launch a... Let, just something that will revert again. Let's just try the, the hop leg Mark 1, which is a thing we've built. Let's just see if this lags. And if it doesn't lag, great. If it does lag, I'll have to go to something else. But we'll see. So, just so you know, I have no idea how to make a rocket. I, on, I only shoot... I only know how to shoot them. But I think Kara has some one who knows. Yes, I do. You want me to call Mr. Adarai? Ah, yes. If you would like to do that. If, it, if, it, if the performance is fine, then yes. Um, well, down here it's usually a little laggy anyway. Down by the space center. I think I said the exact same thing last time. Let's just quickly see what this looks like when we get to the space. That might be a little loud. Ah, yes, the waterfall mod. That uh, changes the particles to look much, much more realistic. I just quickly want to get into space and then we'll see what, if it, what the performance is like up there. <laughs> ring, ring, clunk. Yes. Now this is probe controlled, yes? I believe it is. Not exactly sure. Uh, yes, probe a One moment. How do I close this window? There we go. Oh yeah, remember this doesn't... The only SAS that this has is the stability zest, of course. So... Let's see how well this goes. I mean, it seems acceptable so far, I think. Might be tricky to do a landing. I hear someone's building a rocket. We will be if the performance is good. Also, I do still have the Distant Objects mod enabled, which means that we will be able to see uh, little planetary bodies as dots in the sky. Here like that, the performance is significantly better. Well, if so, you called the right man for the job. NASA won this pace race because of me. Ah, good. Good, good. It's good to have you on the team. This is horribly inefficient. Let's... I know efficiency doesn't really matter because we're only going up into space, we're not trying to actually go anywhere, and I'll probably revert all of this anyway. But we'll see. Uh, actually, this does have a parachute. Interesting. 
yeah, I've got the science lab. I I will have to quickly recheck what sort of crafts we've got <clears throat> out and about, as it were. So, yeah, out here in space, everything is a lot smoother. So this does work. At least with quarter resolution textures. Which is okay. Uh, ooh, that gave the kick. <laughs> Oh yes, this is the lander, I remember. Anyway, the performance seems to be good. Uh, let's go to Space Center, leave anyway. I quickly want to check the performance when I'm flying an airplane, well, space plane, around near the... Uh, what's it called? Space Center. Because that may also be important. Should only take a moment. Uh, this we do not need. I'll recover that. Runway, let's see what do I have here. Uh, close biome hopper, what's the difference? There is none. Okay, let's fly this. Uh, oh, right, that's the... that's fine. Okay. Now then, what kind of rocket are we working with? I want exact mass and facilities. Well, we'll see. We'll see. And we... and... We would have gotten into orbit, too, if it weren't for you meddling empty fuel tanks. <laughs> no, no, that rocket would have gotten into orbit. I mean, I was doing that horribly inefficiently just now, and the... the we, we already got way into space. Also, apologies if the scrolling is a little bit all over the place. Okay, let's see how this goes. I believe this is the one that we landed on that slope just then. Sure, gotcha. <laughs> Roughly 500... 500 tons? You mean payload or... Or what? Because a 500 ton payload is... <laughs> that is... Uh, quite... Implausible. Okay, let's just see if this goes. Okay. And it seems to work. Okay, yeah, this is about as smooth as I remember it. Okay. Well, very roughly 500 times, give or take 300. Ha! Okay, so... Now, now having checked the performance, which I could not have done before, because, again, OBS does appear to take much more performance than it used to. Uh, this is exactly where I wanted to go, the tracking station, because I wanted to have a look at what we've currently got around in space. We've got an asteroid, which I not, don't think we're going to do anything with. We've got the hop leg, hop leg Mark 1, which is currently landed. It's a, yeah, landed here. Is that, that might be converting science, I don't know. With de debris, debris. We've got the med launch, which, this is our Minmus scanner, I believe. Debris, a uh, med launch, Mark 1 scanner. Ah, this might be, ah, this is the moon scanner, the one that's scanning the moon, unsurprisingly. We've got the close... this is the one we've just launched. I can recover this one. Uh, you d really don't know its exact mass. <laughs> okay. So let's quickly have a look at Hobleg Mark 1. Let's fly that. Let's have a look what it's currently doing. Because, again, last time we played this was sometime in June last year. And I have no idea what happened. So... Also, by the way... I did take a little look at the video, just skim through it a little, and the last KSP one, and as it turns out, I was also wearing an orange shirt back then. Okay, so here we are. Now this... Oh! This is the Science Junior, not the Science Lab. 
I see. So I believe... Yeah, this doesn't have really anything at the moment. Okay, that's good. Good, good. Let's go to... Let's go to the space center. Uh, I thought that orange shirt looked familiar, shall I? <laughs> yes, although my hair looked significantly more uh, unkempt than it is now at the moment. So... Because the thing is, I didn't actually plan to stop playing this when we did, it's just something else came up. So let's have a look. Let's have a look in the vehicle assembly building. And let's see what we're gonna what we've got to work with. I just want to quickly look through the parts we've got. Because what I want to do is ideally build a well, do what we said before. Build a little refueling spot with plans to go to uh what's it called? The Mars equivalent. I can't think of it at the moment, sorry. Uh, let's have a quick look. Okay, we've got uh, probe cores, we've got stuff like that, fuel tanks. Yeah, that's all fine. Engines. Liquid hydrogen, that's all good. We've got things. Do we have some cryogenic engines unlocked as well? We've got methane. Let's have a look. Command control. Uh, Crew tubes? Do we have the docking stuff yet? I am I think that's in utility. You, you're going to the VAB? Fab? <laughs> Duna! Duna! Of course! Yes, thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> okay, we've got the... D oh, no, it's in here. It's in coupling, of course. We've got the Clampatron Dockbot Jr. Which... And this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're not going to do any docking stuff at the moment. Uh, this is payload. That is all fine. Okay, landing gear. Actually, landing gear. We've got, we've got some stuff. Good, good. Ah, yes, electrical. We've got. We do have solar panels. We've got lots of batteries. That's fine. Science. Do we have the? We've got science junior, but we do not have the science lab. And that's what I mistook it for, because with the science lab, if you've got science, uh, raw science uh, experiments that you've run, you can put them in the science lab and it'll generate more science over time than if you just recovered it straight away. Uh, do we have... Utility. Is that is that where I want to look? I don't know if we have the mining stuff unlocked quite yet. I don't think we do. Uh, adapters, multicouplers. I mean, okay. Right. Let's, uh, actually, did we spend our science points last time? Mumbling, deltum, mumbling while writing stuff. <laughs> Good. Is there a science junior? Yeah, that was, no, a senior. I, I doubt it. Let's have a look in the research and development. Uh, yes, we have spent it last time. I don't quite remember on what. <laughs> Let's just see. Okay, we've got... Where would the mining stuff be? I think probably... Would be good if there were... Uh, names that are more available. Ah, down here. Heat, heat pump drill. What does this do? A breakthrough in radi- oh, it's radiator technology? That's... Oh, I see. That's heat management. Not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, we've got short-term habitation. No, 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 nothing. That's not what I want. High power electrics. Not quite. Apologies if this is taking a moment. But, as you can see, it's taking a moment. <laughs> I just want to quickly find where the mining stuff is at. It might be further down, but I don't think it is. This is scanning tech, which is fine at the moment. 
Field signs, no. Specialized control, no. Actually, there's a search function. Let's have a look for drill. Ah, that's handy. It highlights where drill stuff is. We've got actuators. Service core sampling drill, no. Field science has the Kerbal Exo drill, nope. This stuff has inline drill. Ah, there we go. This is where it is. Oh, it's all the way down here. Advanced science tech. Ah. Well, looks like we're going somewhere else first. Okay, so given the mass of the rocket is an X variable for the current thrusters, max rocket weight can be at almost 375 tons. Pillard anomaly range is about 2 tons. Okay, that is good to know. I'll be sure to use those measurements exactly. So let's choose where to go. <laughs> right, I think. <laughs> <coughs> So, we've of course got to the moon. I don't know how much we've explored of that. Where can, you, can, where can we see that? I mean, by run, run science experiments and stuff. Because the hop leg mark one did make it here. We did a lo little bunch of science, but I can't remember in which biomes. Is there not a... Uh, I thought there was a, a way you could see what biomes you've explored, what experiments you've done and stuff like that. Or maybe that's in the other building. Apologies for this taking quite a while. I will, thank you very much. I will let you know. Let's have a look at... Uh, where is it? Administration, maybe. No, that's closed. Astronaut complex? Maybe? Nope. Where can I see what I've... Is that... Ah, in the archives, of course. That's what I'm looking for. Archives, here we go. So, let's have a look at... The moon. So, Kerbin... The moon. Ah, these are all the experiments that we've done or not done, I believe. Biomes, Midlands, Far Side, Crater. Okay, so 21 science reports. Ah, these are the, the ones that we have done. Okay. So we've explored the Midlands and the Far Side Crater. If I click on this, this is what we've gotten from the Midlands. And this is what we've gotten from the Far Side Crater. And if I want to go somewhere else, we've also got... Uh, stuff from high space and low space and things like that. So I think what we'll start doing is just launch... Actually, for real, launch another uh, Hopleg Mark 1. And this time try to go for another uh, another biome to get a little bit more science points. And then, well, we'll see how long, how long that takes. And then I want to go to other places as well. T minus 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we do things quite rapidly here. And I, I think I do have Kerbal Alarm Clock installed, which means for longer distance journeys, I can set the clock and it'll remind us once we get there, basically. So we can have other stuff going on in the background. So, let's launch properly this time. Let's see if I remember how to do this. <coughs> More efficiently, that is. Okay, reduce the throttle here, so we're not wasting too much fuel as we're still in the thick atmosphere. 
1.5 kilometers altitude, then start to drift slowly. Yes. Well, I'll go a little higher than that. I think I'm gonna go for about 9 kilometers before I start turning. Waterfall mod, FX in it. Yes, of course. If my calculations are correct, then you should smoothly enter orbit. Good to know. So I'll start turning now. Nope, that is not indeed, that is not correct. <laughs> yep. Should have let go for longer. There we go. <laughs> Let's just let it go straight up for a little bit more. <laughs> ah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just showing off. Showing off my totally great designs. <laughs> I think I remember some issues that this design had now. <laughs> Luckily this is unmanned, it's just a probe. Okay, so we've let's just okay. Let's just let it float around. Let's decouple stuff and let's accelerate in this direction. Okay, so we're gonna make it to space now. Let's leave the altitude at around seventy eight kilometers. Admittedly, not great, but it may or may not work. Okay, now I need to align this manually with the maneuver node. Oh, by the way, that down there, that little green dot that you can see there, that's Jewel. If I mouse over it, it, it says. I've got quite a lot of burning to do here. Don't no, we don't have any RCS quite yet. Mm-hmm. And burning. Decoupling success. Yes, good. Good, good, good. Okay, now this should be fine. Accelerating. We should be getting into quite m mostly circular orbit. And then I'll do the burn towards the moon, and then, well, the moon, and then we'll see about landing this. Slowly tilting, keep her steady. Yes, 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 yes. You can see a jewel from space? Is that like an emerald or summit? Oh, yes, of course. A totally very foggy emerald. <laughs> oh, but with these cloud mods, it. Things just look so great. Yes, the clouds don't look that great because I turned down the, the texture quality, but still, things just look so great, especially the gas giant like Jewel. Or I'm so excited to, for going to uh, Drez or or Duna or or Eve. <laughs> Eve. Eve is going to be a difficult one to get off of, if at all, if we get off at all. Okay, so I'm keeping an eye up here on the Apoapsis site and the Periapsis site. Which I don't think you're able to read on on stream at the moment, but I can read it, and that's important. Okay, and hold on, that's eh. What's our periaps? Ooh, no, we're not. We we are in fact going to crash still. So I'm just going to wait until we're at the apoapsis, then try to circular circularize from there again. Let's adjust our course. And yes, I have totally forgotten what about three quarters of the mods do. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so... We're on time about a second. We've got like two minutes to get there. Let's time warp till we get there. Also, nice lighting coming in through here, I noticed. 
Okay, we've got about a minute or so to go. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Okay, four, three, two, one, burn and stop. That should have gotten a periapsis. Yes, that's good. So, study him closely, the mods. Haha, <laughs> and yes. 86 kilometers, two minutes. Delta V is good. Good. Ah, nice lighting. Pity you can't turn the camera very easily. What? What do you mean? Of course I can, it's just right click. I can turn the camera very easily. It's just right click. <laughs> I know you meant I know I know what you meant. I know what you meant. So let's get a rendezvous with the moon. Ah. XD. Ah, yes. Okay, we'll we'll get one there. We'll I mm, let's see. I want to Actually, getting about there should be good. Well, that is kind of on the wrong side of the moon. Let's try for a little bit more speed. Or maybe actually a little bit less. Let's see if a little bit less speed would do us more good. No, I do definitely need a little bit more. Is that going underneath? Ah, that is. That's... Not ideal. But we can correct for that later. That does appear to be uh, an okay place to meet the moon. Cavill, by the way, be sure to listen for outer space music. Yes! <laughs> it's currently audible, unless it's too quiet. In which case, please let me know and I can increase the volume. On the moon of Timber Hearth, eh? Uh, I don't have that game. I don't have that game, but that would be such a nice game to explore. I've only played the demo back when it was still a, like a student project, like a free thing. I have not played... It's The Outer Wilds, which is an amazing game. I... I, I don't have it. I don't have it. You could hear it quietly. You can hear it quietly, in which case I'm going to try to increase the volume. Uh, music. Let's get that up to like maybe 60%. Except now you should be able to hear it a bit better. We need to burn for 40 seconds, which means I'm going to start the burn at about 20 seconds. Although uh, this is going to burn through that last stage, so we're we're going to drop off this stage. Then we we're, we're only going to have one stage left to get us there and to land. But we're going to have a lighter craft as well, which that's going to kind of kind of balance. Oh! Ah, that's... Ah... Uh, okay. Yeah, things things are going well. Level her. I will, I will, I will! <laughs> yeah, it's better. Cheers. Good. Okay, so... I've got less than a minute to go. I'll fast forward a little bit. I've got about ten seconds left. Nine... Eight... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, burn. And we're going to have to quickly separate the stage. Final stage! Yeah, after, after this is burned through, yes, final stage. I mean, I have, I mean, all the mods I've got, I've got other star systems in here as well, with the far future tech mod and near future propulsions and things like that. Which is far away still, but it's there. And I do have an increased rate of science gain enabled on this, so that should make this a little bit more bearable. Okay, let's see how we're going to be going. Our orbit is slowly extending. Like, I'll correct it so that we're on a roughly orbital path when once we get there. And stop. That should be good enough. 
We've still got a lot of fuel left. So now... Let's try... Oh! <laughs> well, I mean, this way we're actually gonna hit the moon. So... Uh, not exactly what I'm looking for. Although... Let's just quickly center our view on the moon. Uh, focus view. And then you can... And then we can arrange our maneuver node from here. Okay, let's slow down a... well, let's actually let's speed up a little bit to go about there, which will give us a... not quite equatorial orbit, but that's okay, because we just need to land in places of about 30 uh, kilometers. Just increase that slightly, we can get that a little bit closer. 11 kilometers? Sure, 11 kilometers, why not? Collision cost plotted. Your order, sir? Dot dot dot. <laughs> she reminds me of Apollo 11. Mm. Only this thing's unmanned. Oh, and it's much more maneuverable now. And I hope that we're not going to lose connection with... I, I just... I almost said Earth Space Dock. No. Um, the With Carbon. Because this is a probe. So up here we can see the connectivity. At the moment we're, we've got a hundred... We've got full bar, a hundred percent signal strength. But if we're behind the moon, for example, which by the way is there. No, that's Eve. Oh! Hold on, I'll quickly zoom in. Uh, that does. That is the moon. But there, look, we can see that's Gilly, which is, I think, a moon of Eve. Then we've got Eve there, the little purple dot. Then here we've got Duna. And then we've got Moho. The plans are so nicely arranged there, and that's a mod that adds those little dots there. Ah, it really makes me want to go there, in-game. Oh, and there's Minmus, look. Hold on, let me just zoom in here. That little dot there, that's Minmus. <laughs> Voyager. Voyager! Haha! <laughs> yes. Oh, I... We've... Ah! Uh, I missed the node! I was distracted by... Pretty stuff. Hold on. Oh no, that's not good. I'll need to redo the node. Control locked? Okay, that's fine. Uh, that is really not good. I have to quickly redo this, which means it's gonna cost us more fuel. Mm. But... Hold on, what is... what sort of... that's 13... 13 kilometers, that's a bit too... too close. Eighteen, eighteen kilometers, a little bit further out. Replot, you're within error margin. Yes, that are, that's what just what I've done. So we've got nineteen minutes to go. For some reason, I thought we were already on the correct part. Yeah, because usually I don't need to do a correction burn because I usually don't mess up the launch that badly. <laughs> ah, and there's Jewel again. And you can actually also see the other stars. We've got a four-second burn, so that's fine. So. The way, the way you want to burn is you want to start your burn halfway to the burn time. So if you've got a burn time of four seconds, you want to burn two seconds before uh, no before uh, the, the little burn time at the bottom, before you're at the, the nav node. Error, error, pull up and burn, error. <laughs> uh, it's transmitting to Herbin. Yes, ancient earth probe Voyager. Yes, what's it doing? It's transmitting to Herbin. <laughs> Okay, I've got a little bit to go, a little bit, a little, 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 little bit, a couple seconds, two. Okay, there we go, let's burn, and stop. What sort of a path are we on? Actually, we're pretty much where we wanted to be. Good. So, actually, also, is I think F5 is autosave, quick save. Yes, F5 is quick save, good, good. So here we go, moon. I'm coming for your science. <laughs> Moonular, moonular terrain. Pull up and burn. So here we go. Quickly, it's that's always a bit terrifying when it with this huge thing just approaches. Okay. Oops. Stop. 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 Okay. Now I need to slow down. I might have messed this up because. I'm not used to playing this game. 
Uh, let's just see what happens if I burn here. Because we actually did go past our periapsis. We I should have burned there, but... Mm. It's okay. It's our first launch in this... thing. Okay. So... If I burn... No, that's... Ah, right. I see, I see, I see. We can correct from here. First launch in... What, like, 11 months? Ah, easy mistake. Okay, begin moon orbit. Yes, we are. We are. Although... <laughs> I say that we are, but we've actually just lost connection. If you look up there, no probe control. At the moment, we've lost connection, so... I've just got to wait and hope you regain connection before we crash. What's our current course? Okay, we should gain connection just before we crash. You're so right, 11 months. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Bit of a rough start, but... Radio contact ceased, indeed. Oh, we've got, we've got partial contact. I think it's over the other thing. Burn. We've got to burn. I need to redo the node. We've got partial contact because of... We can look over the horizon because of our, our probe, I think. Ah, uh, no, we need to uh, close that. No, come on, close out of it. Add maneuver. Turn it a bit, like so. Four second burn. Three minutes. Ah, there's Kerbin. Lovely to see you. So in two seconds, well, two seconds to go, we'll, I'll start the burn. And burn commencing. Burn finished. And we've got that. Add a maneuver. Let's slow ourselves down to... This is very, very, very inefficient, in case you couldn't tell. We've got half a tank left, that should be able to get us something. Also, I do want to see where we're actually going to be landing, but for that I need to have the access to the carbon net thing. This thing, okay. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll do that once we've made our burn. And we've got another four second burn. Okay. To burn. There we go. We're in Munar orbit. Munar orbit. Great. Unfortunately, the light si side of the moon is currently uh, <clears throat> facing away from the planet. So let's just time warp. Let it scan for a good while, the other one. Until we're about here. So now we've got both the light side and Kerbin. Which means that we now have a much better idea of what we're gonna be where we're gonna be landing as well. So you can see all of this got scanned in our time warp time. Okay. So uh what is this? This is currently what is that? Is does it say what vehicle that is? I don't know, it doesn't matter. So wait, this is the moon, yes? Or is that Yeah, far side crater. Um, what's what's that? I could only hear static. Who's our Kerbal? No one. It's a radio-controlled vehicle. So, what did I say? Where did we land? We landed in the far side crater biome, and we landed in... We explored, I think, was it the highlands? Uh... <laughs> Should we just, quick, just quickly double-check? 
I think we should probably just quickly double check. I'll quickly go into Space Center and then I'll, I'll, I'll check the archives, see where we've landed so far. Join me, rocket, on the light side of Moon. <laughs> The landing will be interesting, considering my lack of recent practice. Orbit in progress, please wait, yes. Let me turn on my lights. Okay, so, research and development, archives, carbon, the moon, ah, Midlands, ah, it was Midlands, Midlands and Farside Crater. Farside Crater, we've only got two reports. Magnetometer temperature, whereas here we've got... Oh right, here we've got EVA and all the other stuff as well. Because we actually got someone there. So Midlands and Farside Crater is where we got, so let's go back to our craft. Uh, why is that frozen? Hold on, one moment, need to pause and restart. There we are. So, I want the one that's currently orbiting this one. Fly that. Um, well, yeah, I'm actually going to the Highlands tomorrow. Ah, oh, lovely. Have you bought hiking gear? Well, I bought an EV suit. <laughs> well, maybe Highlands. We'll see. I'm not sure if I can set markers on the... Nav, the scan thing. Okay, so this is all, yeah, th this is all Midlands. So, this is East Farside Crater. We've got Highland. We've got Lowlands. We've got Farside Basin. We've got Highlands there. Can I put in a marker there? Waypoint selector, yes. Waypoints... Actually, not like that. Where can I set waypoints? Ah, down here, maybe. Waypoint selector. Uh, hold on. Ah, I can place it somewhere. So... Let's aim for... Let's aim for the Highlands. Um, then create waypoint. Is that how that goes? Can I now see that waypoint? I'm not sure how this works. But we are currently basically on, on this orbit. So if that's just where we passed, it should be there, hopefully. I'll... Oh, or maybe I can see it on the map. I might be able to see it on the map. Ah, look, there it is. There's the waypoint. Which does mean <clears throat> that I'll have to fast forward a little bit more, still, to get the correct side of the moon in the sun. Oh! An alert! What is the alert about? Uh... Drag, drag, uh, drag, drag the the pin something. I, please write. I'll I'll check the thing. I'll check where it is. Uh, you're you're not showing up in use in chat. Strange. Thank you for coupling up, though. Dregory the Pink Hay. Oh, it might have been similar to that. I Please, type a message in chat and then I'll do my best to say your name properly. Okay, so... We'll add a maneuver down here to get our... ourselves properly on target. And let's do that first. There's the moon, by the way. It's as grey as it always is. Do 
two second burn. Let's time. Let's fast forward. Hopefully it's not going to be. Hopefully we're going to have connection. Ah, that's the thing I wanted to do. I wanted to put nav satellites in orbit because of exactly this issue, and we are not in fact going to have connection. That is unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate. Which means I'm actually going to have to do this bit. Hold on. Uh, why can't I control locked? Oh, I can't do it because I don't have con I can't even edit the, the nav nodes when I don't have access to the core. That's interesting. Okay, well, I can burn now. It's going to be a little bit of a longer burn, but that's fine. Okay, so now basically I just I just need to do a retrograde burn here. And then, of course, burn again to slow us down to actually land there. That shouldn't be too difficult, he says. Okay, like that. And we've actually got the... Ah, there we go. That's our destination, I believe. Ish. That should be on the Highlands. At the moment, we're over Midlands. Would it <clears throat> be good if you could set a timer for the thrust to go off at a certain time, even if it didn't have connection to carbon? You you can do that with the advanced thing. I may have a mod for that. Like a... actually... Let's quickly see. What is this all? No, that's lens flares. Uh... I don't think I have that mod installed, but there is a mod where you can program the computers. Or I might just not have the component on here yet. So let's extend the landing gear. I hope that we're not going to lose connection with carbon. Turn on our lights, if we have any. I'm not sure that we do. And we are a far side crater at the moment. Oh wait, is that a landed craft there? Oh, that's not our target, it's our landed craft. That's Hoplek Mark 1 down there. Why doesn't... Oh, it does say the name now. Hmm. Okay. So, still far side crater, lowlands, midlands, highlands. Okay, so, highlands. Let's start burning, to slow down. I want to slow down horizontally first. Well, we'll, we'll do a mixture. I'll turn it so it's a little easier to navigate. Okay, we... I want to get our... I want to basically get us going pretty much straight down. Which I've almost gotten. Now, ideally, I would have wanted to use this craft to hop to multiple places on the surface, which is what it's called, but because we were so terribly inefficient with the fuel getting here, I think we're only going to have the chance to get signs from one place, unfortunately. Also, I hope we're landing on a relatively um, flat bit. <laughs> Only about 90 or 100 meters per second. Yeah, this is quite a light craft, so we should have no issues with this. There's our shadow. Ah, we are actually on currently on a... No, 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 stop, stop, stop. We didn't... Mm, that's annoying. Ah... <sighs> I want to quickly time up a little. Because we have to now go back down. Because we're not... I wanted... I didn't... Cut off the... Throttle when I wanted it to. So... We can try landing here. Yeah, but this does seem really quite um, hilly, unfortunately. 
So let's see if we can get a little bit further in this direction. Little hops should do. Now the gravity here of course isn't as low as it is on places like Minmus, but it's still very low, so that should be okay. Oop, that was a bit much. Need to cancel our horizontal velocity. Now that's too much. <laughs> I keep accidentally pressing other buttons that I do not want to press. Can you tell that I'm a bit rusty? I mean, did, at this point, I'm like I'm trying to get it to land upright, but maybe just getting it to land at all is should or should be our goal. I think the issue is that I'm trying to land visually more. Oh, almost! No, no, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! And it's dancing. Good. That's always what you wanted to do. Ah, uh, well, we landed it. We landed it somewhat. I'm sure it's fine. Now, where is that science thing? Isn't there a button that I can use to... Or did I disable that? I might have disabled it. What is that? Ah, that's the docking thing. Great landing. <laughs> I hope the rocket's not rusty. <laughs> okay, well... Open all bays. Ah, <laughs> well, I mean, we could try to take off, but I don't think that that would end very well. So let's perform our science stuff. The, the open doors, conduct, oh, perform all science, there's the button. Okay, we've got plenty of electric charge. Let's transmit stuff. Is it transmitting? Oh, no usable incomes range thing? One moment. Uh, let's just... Let's... Uh, let's keep all the stuff. Do we not have an antenna? I thought I packed an antenna on here. The other one transmitted. Or maybe we're not... Where's Kerbin? Eh. Is Rigu? Also, you missed some above, did I? Alright. So tonight, with us here, we have a very special guest. Shiny Brady, Bradley, who is from the Midlands. So Shiny, what would you say is the best part of living in the Midlands? Well, I'll put it this way. If you like rocks, you'll love it. <laughs> Raise both eyebrows. Ha ha ha. Forgot an antenna? No. Because the this is supposed to already have one. Extend all solar. No. Thought the probe core had a an antenna. Um review data. No usable in-range comms thing. That is strange. Because the other one transmitted, didn't it? Didn't it? We might just do... We might just do a... What does that say? Cannot transmit data device on this vessel. Huh. Odd. Very odd. Tell you what, let's quickly do the... Let's put in... Let's put the... Let's put uh, Kerbnet uh, satellites in orbit. Let's go back to the space station. Let's quickly do that. Because then we can much more easily communicate around and we won't lose connection on the far side either. I think that is the thing that we wanted to do last time and then I never streamed this again until now. <laughs> but no, it's supposed to have an antenna. 
<laughs> maybe it maybe it got damaged in the landing, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we would have heard it if it had been damaged. Here we are. So what do we need? I want... Well, ideally, I would want... Hmm. Hmm. Setting up the satellites, I think we're gonna need this to be a manned mission because... Oh, I can't actually zoom in because I don't have middle click. That's okay. That totally won't be an issue at all. Uh, yeah, man mission so we don't lose... so we can... Lo so we can make sure that we can decouple the satellites at the exact point that we need to. Let's do a stack decoupler. Is this one the right size? I think so. Of What does this have? Protection force 100, 150. What's the mass? Ah, well, no, this one's fine. Okay, not being able to zoom in is gonna be annoying. Does page up, page down work? No. Plus minus? No. Okay. So, I'm going to need, of course, a parachute, which is in utility, I believe. Uh, parachute. There we go. And then I'm going to need the stage that's going to get this thing back to carbon, which I think one of these tanks plus one of the tiny engines should suffice. Where is that small engine? Is it this one, the Terrier? I think it's the Terrier. Uh, not like that. Okay, so that should be enough to get us home. Then I'm going to need a decoupler. Uh, they've got... right, yeah, it would've gone poof. Yes. So let's put the a decoupler on here. Now, this next bit is the bit that is going to contain all of our uh, satellites, basically. So do I have any sort of bays that I can open, any big bays that I can open? I've got... no, that's tiny. That is the wrong shape. If I... no, that's just an inventory... inventory thing. Ah, no, 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 I've got these ones. That... wait, can I not change the size of these ones? I can change the length of them. Okay, well... hmm. That's 1.25, that's 1.5. Let's see... That's 5, that's 4. The Soyuz fairing, which I don't need at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, I think it will probably be that one. Okay, let's make this a uh, quad one. And let's see about the satellites. So, what we need is... I'm going to need a... Actually, you know what? No, let's put it just... Let's put it on the side of a fuel tank. What could possibly go wrong? Let's just put on... Let's put on two fuel tanks like that. And let's put on the decouplers, the radial decoupler. I think four should be fine. And let's keep it around there, maybe. So what do I need? I need basic maneuvering. But for that, maybe a monopropellant tank would be enough. Maybe. Uh, no, I shan't. I shall go sideways, not... Or not at all. Have you got the Mark Force pace, part, pace point parts as well? If so, I think so, but I'm not certain. I think I do, yes, but I don't have them unlocked. <clears throat> uh, I was thinking that maybe... Maybe RCS stuff would suffice, just for maneuvering these little things. But... I don't know. We could just put on a little bit of... Oh, we've got monopropellant tanks like that, but... I suppose we could just have... 
suppose we could we could just have it well no that wouldn't work I need we could just have an empty fuel silage 0.1 tons <clears throat> I think that that will probably work and then we can have our stuff yeah see that's hollow I think can we change the look of these I don't think so. Okay. Fuselage? Fuselage. Not fuel. Fuselage. Uh, okay, now let's... We Ah, we can actually put our our stuff in there. Our monopropellant. This one ha contains 20 monopropellant. This one... Ah, this one has the variable amount. Let's see about this one. So, if I... Put it there, turn it around like that. That's 20. And put it on the other side as well. There's so that's on, on that line. And that one needs to go on that line as well. So now it is, I will admit, it is currently sticking out, which isn't great. Hmm. <laughs> it looks a little funny, but I'm, I think it might work. Put it, put, to put stuff in, yes. So, I mean, look, okay, I can fix this. I can use the move tool, not that one. I can select the parts, like that part, and I can just move it in two steps. And I can select this part, which is supposed to be that part. I can move that in one, two steps as well, in which case we're just gonna have them overlapping each other, but Actually, let's move it up by two as well. Well, one, two. Okay, move that one up two. And I'll select the bottom one, move that one down to one, two. There we go. Now it's no longer clipping through. Okay, we need some form of probe core. What does this one have? Uh, this one has... What's the difference? Uh, next up in our technology, this small unit cannot only receive and relay control, but it also provides automatic stabilization assistance. Uh, great! And this one does not, I believe. No crew at all, keeping it perfectly safe from harm. This device does not require electricity, op does require electricity operator, however, and it will cease to function, blah blah blah, batteries. Okay. And this is a remote control system, that's for the, for the part, if I, if I can put it in. Let's use this one. Go back. Sure. Let's put put the probe cars on. Can change their look. Let's have them be golden. Why not? And <laughs> let's not forget to put on antennae. So, what sort of antennae do we want? Micro relay. It's a multiple dish that does communications for small systems. Uh, Short range dual purpose communication that, that can handle either direct communication or short range relays. Portable high, a portable high and high power direct antenna with a small footprint, high transmit speed and with a moderate power cost. Uh, with this one, surface mounted version of the other one, this one. It's a versatile and lightweight antenna suitable for moderate range communications, long range backup communication and eavesdropping on secret government operations. Ooh. Uh, for those tiny rovers that only need to call up to orbit. No, we do not need that. Um, science transmitter. No, I think we're going to use this one. Back, good. I think we're just going to use the normal extendable antenna. There we go. Just for data transmission. And we're going to need some maneuvering thrusters. And we're, since we're using the RCS, let's use these ones. This one has thruster power one, one, two, one, zero point one, two. That's a reaction control wheel. This one has 0 0.2. So I think these ones are probably going to be best. 
Although, actually thinking about it. Maybe these ones, since those have more control. These ones have uh, one. Okay, sure. So, how do I do this? I'm, let's have them... This is going to be a bit tricky because I can't zoom in. Because middle click doesn't work. Let's have one down there. One there. One there. One there. That should be plenty to rotate and do all sorts of stuff. Now we need power generation. Let's go into electrical. Oh, let's let's just use solar panels. Uh, three by two, one by six. Oh, and this is uh, th th one point six, one point six. It's the same. Ooh, this one has two point eight per second. Ah, because it's huge. <laughs> let's just. Let's just try these ones. Well, let's try these ones. So place them there. Extend those. They're just going to look like that. Good. Now, I will also have to put batteries on because these I do want to transmit while they are in the shadow. So, 200. Actually, let's just use one of these ones. One of the. Z1K rechargeable battery bank. Is this another case of you can truly appreciate it once it's gone? Re middle click drag? Yeah, pretty much. So we've got that. Eh, let's just put on a couple more solar panels. Why not? Okay, so what do we have here? We've got our battery, we've got our antenna, we've got our core, we've got monopropellant for our thrusters if we do need to do any sort of course corrections. Yes, those are solar panels. And we've that's basically all they need to do. Right? Oh, we do have the mobile processing lab. Look! We have unlocked it. Huh. I don't want to put any sort of science stuff on these because we well we don't need to. Okay. So I think that's probably going to be good. Now how many do we want of these? Four. I think four should be good. If we can get our orbits lined up fine. Which means That we now need to just make sure to, that we can get this there. Liquid hydrogen engine... Uh, I don't know. Although we might, I suppose we could use... Tell you what, let's, let's use more interesting fuel. Let's use the hydrogen tanks. Because those are nice. Which means we can use the hydrogen engines. So, this one has... Uh... what does this have? LH2. And these require LH2, liquid hydrogen, and oxygen. So let's change this one to be an oxygen tank. Actually, let's change it to... Uh, oxi well, was it oxidizer or...? Oh, it's oxidizer, yes. And this consumes how much and how much? I think we had decided that it about a range of 2 to 1 is good. Liquid hydrogen to oxidizer. Although maybe not, who knows? Who knows? Uh, actually that doesn't quite look like it's lining up. Although... 800... 6000. Let's just see... Um, where will the mobile processing lab go? Nowhere, not on this, not on this. Using hydrogen fuel, not because it's better or because it's more efficient, but because it makes sense. But not because it makes sense, but because it looks more interesting. Haha. 
Um, danger of depth. Hello, welcome. So, uh, forty kilonewtons doesn't seem great. Two thirty, five hundred and fifty. Uh, that's too big. We'll we'll use this one. Ah, and now we've got our ISB and things. So, I mean, this this alone could very well be enough to get us there. So let's do a test run with this. We'll we'll strap some boosters to it. Actually, let's put on a. Decoupler down there, and then let's just let's just put some boosters on it, and let's see how far we get. Do I want these ones? Uh, well, we can try. If things go wrong, well, it was only a test anyway, because in real life you would run simulations of this sort of thing. But of course, in KSP, you can't really do that, so... Wait, this one has relative wing area. 0.65, Let's use these ones. The deluxe delta wings, ooh. Uh, hello! Hexa, Hexa, Flexa, gone too. <laughs> Flexa gone. That's a good Whole Foods store name. Might use that in a game. <laughs> I came up with it first. Apparently there is a Twitch streamer by the name, same name, live streaming as well, as we speak. Oh, as we speak, back on topic, yes. Anyway, back on topic, yes. So let's just give this a try. I may strap this up a little bit because that looks a little un uh, unsafe. Uh, that looks still a bit unsafe. Let's try something like this. I mm, doesn't look very stable. It looks too top heavy. What if I move these things down? Like there. I think that'll work better. Those two that fires that de No, no, no. We do not want those to decouple. That is a thing that I want to have happen. Basically just before all of that stuff. So that decouples and that engine fires. Then after that, we decouple, no, not that stuff, one moment. After that, we decouple our satellites. Then we decouple that and launch our engine to get us home. Then we decouple our cab and, okay, our cab. Add an antennae, I have got antennae, luminators. Well, lights could be useful, I suppose. Utilities. Uh, wide beam. <clears throat> Hi, interesting team. Never played KSP, but it appeals. 75% off on Steam right now, too. Oh, is it? <clears throat> I literally had no idea. How are you? Um, yeah, this is the first time I'm playing KSP in a really quite long while, so... If I make mistakes, that's why. Let's call this one Moon Moon Gazer. Mark one. <laughs> because it's supposed to put our comm satellites on well in orbit around the moon. Good luck with the launch. <laughs> Thank you, I'm gonna need it. It's only a test launch anyway. Things may very well go very wrong. It's only a test launch. To see how much fuel we've got and how well things work and first try. I'm fine, thanks. You? Okay? Yes. The Coleman Mountains DLC finally released for trains, so that's really exciting. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, let's see how this goes. That is a chatterer mod in the background. Okay, let's let's fast forward till sunrise. Yes, this is heavily modded. 
Okay. Well, ooh, I should probably have reduced the the power of these because five of these is going to accelerate us way too much. Let's quickly do that. Let's quickly hop into the vehicle assembly and reduce the thrust of those solid rocket boosters. Excellent news. Thank you very much. Because if I right-click these... Oh, I can't zoom in. That's annoying. Thrust limiter. Let's try maybe 30? Mm, maybe? 30, which means these are all 30. The, ce the central one should also be 30. Come on. Almost there. Needs to be exactly the same, because if it's not, then it'll not work properly. Eh, I suppose that should work. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. I made the music myself. Almost loaded in again. There we are. Let's wait until morning again. It's very seasonal. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see how terribly this goes. So, five, four, three, two, one, go. And I limited too much. Okay. Well, that for, for terrible launches, that's not too terrible. I need to re-increase the thrust. <laughs> uh, mm. Hold on a moment. Let's try 50%. 50.5, sure. Apparently it's heavier than I thought. Again! With feeling! <laughs> yes. You'll be feeling it alright. <laughs> With emotion! Ah! Yes. That's enough emotion! <laughs> Good point. Let's go, let's fast forward until day again. Till morning. I'm so glad they added that button. It is really, really useful. There's the sunrise. Beautiful as always. And... Three, two, one, go! Lift off? Yes, a very slow lift off. Hmm, maybe not ideal. <laughs> maybe I should have just... <laughs> maybe I should have just left it at maximum power. <laughs> this is... it's... I mean we can try like this, but I don't think we're gonna make it. Let's, let's try, let's try, and then... and we'll see, we'll see how... <laughs> no, we, we're already like... a third well, a quarter, well, approaching a third through. Wait, what did you say? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're almost halfway through, and we've only made it two kilometers up. And that's not great. Everything's in slow motion. Eh, we're in space. <laughs> well, technically, yes, but we're not in a vacuum. Well, technically, even up there, that's not vacuum. Because, well, for one thing, there's light and gravity there, but... You know what I mean. Yeah, this has 
this is not working at all. Blair. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we've only got like a quarter left and we've only managed to get like seven kilometers high. Our penetration in T plus three seconds. <laughs> We've barely got over one G. Uh, ignore those glitchy mountains in the distance. Let's just okay. Well, we can see how quickly the uh, liquid fuel and hydrogen gets used up by the engine. That's going to be useful. 10 seconds. Ah, right. Okay. This engine isn't quite powerful enough to get us out of the atmosphere. But it is gimbling, which is good. And yeah, it does appear as though we're using up our liquid hydrogen twice as fast as our oxidizer. Ish. So having uh, either half the oxidizer or twice the hydrogen would be good. Also, it does look pretty, doesn't it? With a blue flare. It's just the wise old owl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well. No, we're not going to get into space with this. We're not even going to get into space. Uh, it does indeed. Although, actually, now that I'm looking at it, let's, let's, let's use up all the, the fuel, and then we'll see what values we're at to get an exact estimation. So we should be at around 500 oxidizer if it's 2 to 1. Which I'm not convinced that it is, but it might be. We are... No, actually. We're a bit above that, so... Okay. Let's quickly revert back to our vehicle assembly. See? Test flight. You learn stuff. Okay, let's just increase this all the way up to maximum on these ones. And our oxidizer. Let's try packing half of that. Let's see how it does now. You learn stuff and burn stuff. Yeah, well, realistically you would do simulations before a launch. Whether that's through mathematics or through computers, which technically is mathematics, um, but here there's not that option, so we'll just use the revert feature as the simulator. Okay. Time warp. You can see the planets rise again as well. And... Here we are, turn on and say yes. And let's see how this goes. Feels better. Feels better. Is there a, a time clock? Yes. Up here, this is mission time. I can set it to the actual game time. Okay, we're gaining a lot of speed, which is good. Uh, it is currently 
Uh, year one, day 22, uh, 4.33 and 55 seconds. So four o'clock in the morning, apparently. Yeah, we're already getting so much more out of these thrusters. AM. It's morning. It's not four in the morning, huh? Yeah, it is. The sun just rose. Doesn't look like it. Well, it's not the Earth. <laughs> it's all 24 hour day. I am unsure. We're 12 kilometers high. Let's start angling slightly. Okay, here we go. Detached. Now don't flip, please. Need to angle. Come on, a little bit more angling. I might little. I might put little fins on this bit as well to help me steer it. So let's cut it. Let's cut a power. No, I can't cut car, cut power because then we would flip probably. Hmm. I'm probably going to have to put on another liquid fuel stage underneath this. Twenty-three kilometers up and rising. We're accelerating again. Good, good. Oh no, this isn't. This is not going to work again. Yeah, just. I need. I need a proper launch vehicle, not just some solid fuel boosters. While the solid fuel boosters are great, they can't do the job alone. So I'm going to need some a, a proper launch stage, launch vehicle. It's been a while since I've played this, okay? <laughs> ah, okay, so we are... We've actually managed to get into space. But... No, we're not going to have enough to, to even circularize this. Okay, so let's redo the launch vehicle. And by redo, I mean actually make a, a proper one for the first time. This time around. Ah, hmm, ah. Okay, so... Ah, that's annoying. I can't zoom in because my middle click doesn't work anymore. Annoying. So annoying. Actually, hold on. I can quickly turn this on. Then my middle click works. Then I can zoom in. Then I can go over here. Then I can turn it off. Then I can go over. Yeah, that I. this is an issue. If you couldn't tell. So, what sort of fuel do we have? We've got... Do we have the larger... Yeah, we do have the larger ones. Why am I not using these ones for the launch vehicle? So, if I use this one... Uh, liquid hydrogen... Then... Uh, let's, yeah, let's make this one the... Oxidizer. Let's do... Okay, that's 32, so 16. And let's put on the big engine. I think it's this one. Uh, is that the big one? No, 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 it's not. That's the tiny one. Orbital, manu orbital maneuvering. Do we not have big engines for this? Hercules. Ah, oh, or is that the one? Hold on. I need ones that have good thrust in atmosphere. In atmosphere, at sea level, Ooh, that's 41 kilonewtons. 13 kilonewtons, ooh. Ah, 473 kilonewtons. 200, okay, let's use these ones. I think that these ones are... Yeah, these ones are supposed to be used for the with the big ones anyway. <clears throat> let's use that one. And then let's use... Radial decouplers, because I do actually want some amount of solid rocket boost. 14 kilowatt? Kilotons? Ugh! Kilotons. Kilotons is an explosive yield. Because when you're talking with about kilotons, usually you mean explosive force, like 
killer tons of TNT. Maybe map a key like caps lock to replace middle mouse. Well, I am currently in the process of sorting out drivers because I had to up when I updated my operating system, I the driver I, I was used to using no longer worked and now I've got a replacement but the replacement isn't really great and I'm sorting it out. I'm sorting it out but at the moment I'm stuck with this. So let's see how this does. I'll, pe I'll put on nose cones of course and then we need struts. I missed this game. Let's put them on here. And I do want to put on winglets. Let's put on the deluxe delta wing. Let's put them on here. And let's put some on here as well. <laughs> let's see how this goes. It might all go ter terribly wrong. So this fires, this engine needs to fire with that, then that decouples, then that decouples and that fires. Um, look, I never said kilo, kilotons. Oh, K kilone, kilone. What? Kilonewtons. Oh, kilonewtons. Oh, of course. Sorry, I misread. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks for the concern. This is so much fun to play this game again. <laughs> Put illuminators on it. It does. It has them at the top. I'll show you them when we load in. If we load in. Again, let's time warp. I should really do this in the menu, then it'll save it. You can see up there, those little dots there, those are the lights. If I turn them on, you can see... Well, actually, you can't see at the moment, but... Uh, they're, they're there. Trust me, they are there. Okay, let's see how this works. Maybe zoom in with Alt. Uh, sure. Hold on. There, you can see them there. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Mark two are the square ones. I am unsure. I think it's Mark two the ones I'm using. Yes. Now I could also put on smaller liquid fuel tanks on the side, if this doesn't work. Okay, I've got to reduce the power of the liquid fuel engine. Oh, this is quite... This is a lot slower than I had hoped it would be. I mean, the, the way it responds. We're still accelerating, that's good. About half through our liquid fuel. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of control with this rocket, so I think I need to get it higher before I do my turn, which is less efficient, but I don't want it to spin out of control. <laughs> our horizontal speed is 1.2 meters per second. Okay, our solid fuel is about to run out. We've gone halfway through our uh, liquid hydrogen stage. We're at half a kilometer a second already, which is a bit fast, admittedly. Let's reduce our throttle a bit. About to burn through. Actually, let's increase it just so we hopefully avoid the the debris. Accelerate. There we go. Okay, that just avoided that. And we are currently just about holding. Actually, no, we're accelerating still. Okay, so we're accelerating. 16 kilometers up. Mm. I I suppose I can try to start a turn now. That looks so p so pretty. That blue flare. Anyway, and. Uh, at the next stratosphere, turn starboard. <laughs> yes. 
We're 20 kilometers up. I'll start my turn now, which means I'm going to floor it. Okay. We are now 60 kilometers apoapsis. Which actually the real world term is apogee and perigee for the other one. What do you floor though? <laughs> well, that down there. <laughs> okay, we're 80 kilometers. This is boating much uh, more well? More well? I don't know. Ooh, that... Mm, it says that we don't have enough to even perform, perform the circular, circularization. However... Uh, yeah, this is gonna be an issue. We should like we need to start burning like now, but we don't really have enough for that. Don't want to dig into our RCS. I might I might need to put on RCS stuff on here as well. Hmm, unfortunate. Unless I give well, like we need to. Well, actually, we've still got a little while. We've got like. Oh no, that's almost three minutes. But no, we okay. Let's let's just start burning now and to get a bit more control because this has thrust gimbling. And let's burn. When we decouple the stage, hopefully we should get rid of enough mass to be able to actually do this. And there we go. Okay. Yes. Dun 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 I'll read I'll have a look at that in a moment. Oh another another notification. Okay, let's let's just have a keep a big of an eye bit of an eye on what this looks like. We're still going up, good good. Hello, me hiyak. Welcome. Okay. Although we are running quite low on this. And this was supposed to get us all the way to the moon. But it's not going to. We're not going to have enough. I'm not going to have enough. <laughs> maybe, maybe we would have enough if I just put a liquid fuel into these probes and let them guide themselves to the orbit. Should I streaming more some more KSP after eleven months? Mm hmm. Oh yes, yep. It's been eleven months since I streamed KSP, and that's finished that, which isn't great. Yeah, it uh, it didn't quite get us into orbit. Yeah, first time in eleven months. Gl gulp. Okay. Yeah, so that those decouple fine. Can I switch to those? Yes. And I should have control over them. Actually, that's a good test. I can just about control them a little bit because it has got a reaction control wheel. If I turn on RCS, I can. Oops. I can use it to accelerate to. Actually, yeah, that is going through it quite quickly. But, should be able to see... Actually, yeah, it is. Yeah, so that is working just for little orbital adjustments. But right now, what I want is I want to cycle back over to this one. So, let's decouple that. And yeah, this of course this has this this has plenty of. Oh, we don't have that much electricity. Why do we not have that much electricity? It's using so much electric charge. Doesn't this have a? Hmm. I thought that this had a dynamo built in. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Anyway, so what what have we learned this time? We need a stronger launch vehicle. We need batteries. Slash more uh, actual solar panels for our main craft because I think that's what the issue was with the the thing. Does this not come? Oh, it does come full. I think maybe hibernation. Ooh, are these? Can I turn them off like that? Hibernation on. 
Hmm. Interesting. So, I need to quickly zoom in. So I need to turn on my driver, then zoom, 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 zoom. Come on, a little, little bit more, zoom, zoom, zoom. Go over. Turn that off. Okay, so instead of having solid rocket boosters here, let's try putting on... <laughs> let's just try... Well, let's see what engine has the highest thrust in the atmosphere that's of the scale. So is this one the one... No, okay, this one has in the atmosphere 203. Whereas... These ones down here. This one... No, these ones are tiny ones. No. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a that's a big one. I want to have a look at these. Are these not the ones? Uh. Two or three. Well, I think I might not have unlocked the other ones. Um, but it does exist. Apsis, at the bottom of the table. Oh. Uh, bottom of the table? What do you mean? Oh. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Never knew about the hibernation thing. Hmm, do you remember what the big one was called? So you won't struggle to find it. I know what the big one's called. I'm trying to see if I have a good normal liquid fuel engine that might do the job better, but I don't think I do. So, gotta be using these ones. I mean, I suppose, yeah, well, actually that's fine. Liquid fuel there. Actually, you know what? Why am I doing this? This tank... Wait, 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 wait. How much does this tank hold? This can hold... How much oxidizer? Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on, I'll place it. I might just be able to do that. One moment, this one can hold oxidizer 400 so that's literally half so I don't even need to carry around this huge tank I can just put one of the smaller ones on instead ah. <laughs> oxidizer and that way I will save on weight as well wait and I can do the same thing up here can't I how much does this, does this hold if does this one hold 16? If this one holds 16, it should hold 16. Does it hold 16? 16! Anyone 16? 16! Improvements all around. There we go. Because I don't really need more than that. Although I do need to set it up to have... Oxidizer. Is this one set up? Yes. Okay, now let's use these ones. Put them on here. Let's set these ones up to use oxidizer as well. <laughs> I mean, that looks interesting. Sure, why not? Although I suppose if I want some uh, nose cones, it looks better like this, probably. So let's put on our engines. Let's use this one. And actually, let's have... I, this is an external fuel duct, yes. I want this to fill into there. Oops. I want this to fill into there. And I want this to fill into there. So that they're all... Gonna fill into the thing. At the bottom of the table. Um... I don't know. I don't know what the table means. Okay, so let's put on the nose cones. 
and what would, I wanted to do something about the electricity so let's just slap on and that's 400 yeah let's let's just slap on some batteries let's put them here and then I want some of those big solar panels just there <laughs> if I had done this 11 months ago I would not have had this much trouble building a simple thing to get to the moon do you need monopropellant? No, I I think using I'm fine with using the reaction control wheel. And or rover. No, it's not gonna land. It's just supposed to put the comms satellites into orbit so that my my probes can communicate with Kerbin plus have a longer range for the science thing. Looks pretty imp I'm Sure, it'll work. Yeah. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Let's see how this goes. I hope this is even strong enough to take off. Because now we don't have any... Uh, solid rocket boosters. Although those particles just look so pretty. Maybe I should add some small boosters to the sides of these. Or maybe in between there. I don't know. That makes sense. Good, good. Reduce our throttle a bit. Well, you can. There we go. Look, see, it's even got the heat distortion. Okay, decouple. Now full power. And uh, do I want to begin the turn? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't know. Let's try it. I don't want it to flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. Yeah, I think we are probably going to need some more, uh, well, some solid rocket boosters to begin with. Although, we do now have a significantly larger amount of fuel left. Also, it doesn't seem to want to flip, which is good. Maybe, yeah. Plus we've got electric charge at the moment. These are still hibernation, yes. Good. Okay, we're accelerating. Don't th I don't think it's enough. I I think we are just going to need a little bit more. We are just going to need some boosters. And we are definitely going to need to unlock some better engines with our next science points.
Yeah, we are not traveling fast enough with this, unfortunately. Although, we've gotten up to 80 kilometers. We've gotten a... Uh, let's, let's, let's see what would happen if I were to try to... Hmm, that looks better. And by if I were to try to, I mean if I were to try to circularize this. Two minutes, four seconds, which means at one minute and two seconds I need to start the burn. It is going to eat... Ooh, no. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's fast forward one minute and two seconds. Okay. Time sticking down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, burn started. And release and go. We're in space, good start. Although, even this doesn't have enough power. They can see that little white line down there. That is where the stage toggles. So this is enough fuel in stage four, and then we have to eat into our stage that's gonna get us back home to get us into a circularized orbit, which is not enough. Actually, hmm. What am I missing? I'm probably just using the wrong fuel for... I'm probably just using the wrong fuel for taking off. I should maybe just use norm... Although, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just quickly trying to see... Those detached normally, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's just quickly go back to the hangar. Wait, lift off, wait, w no, <laughs> yes. Uh, let's turn on the ability to scroll in again, quickly. Okay, so. What have we learned? Nothing whatsoever. Um, okay. Some boosters may be a good idea. Hmm, although I don't know which are going to burn through first. <laughs> could just try it like that. Although that does not look very elegant. Let's try putting those in here, maybe. Or, actually, we could, instead of having four of those, we could have eight of those. And then grab those ones down there, and this is going to be a bit tricky without being able to zoom in, connecting the hoses. And that should... no, that doesn't do it. One moment. There we go. And the top ones still work. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's just try it. It might be just what we needed. Some might say I should have probably tried to get back into the KSP mindset before streaming it, but then again, some might say that even if I wanted to do, to do that, I didn't have, wouldn't have the time to do it, and that I just wanted to feel like, well, wanted to stream it because I felt like streaming it. Ah, 
Ah. Uh, okay. Well, here we go. Why do we have no electric charge again? The SA is, is off and these are in hibernation. Concerning. Anyway, let's launch. Ah, that's giving us a much, much bigger kick. Okay. Ha off now. Bot is key. K bot case B. Uh, two. Thanks for the demo. Have a nice week. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Let me know how you get on if you would like to. Uh, you wanted to feel like streaming it because you wanted to stream it. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Ta da. Bye bye. Let's actually just reduce the throttle a little bit more still. Just because, just so we're just about holding speed. Well, just, just gaining speed. Because I want to get out of the thickest part of the atmosphere first. And then have still enough left over to do stuff. Basically. Decoupling, this is going to look interesting. Maybe I should start doing my... Well, I'll do my turn once I've detached all those other things, because if I don't, then that might get in the way. There we go, full power. And turn. Actually, it looks quite interesting with all those winglets down there. Okay, now we've got a full tank of this. Is this going to be enough to get us into orbit? Hopefully. Never mind that explosion. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Great looking design, yeah, but it's so far it's not really been good at doing pretty much anything. Okay, we're in. We're officially hi uh, hitting space. Now, if I try to circularize, will this work? The answer is maybe. Maybe. I don't know how much of stage four we're going to have left after circularization. One minute nineteen to burn, which means, yeah, there are forty seconds. At forty seconds to go, gonna have to initiate my burn. And forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, one, burn. That was a moment and a half. What do you mean a moment and a half? Ah, I wanted to clip it again, but Twitch is still acting up apparently. I don't know what you mean. What moment and a half do you mean? I think my problem with this is that I'm using the amount of... the size of thruster... of, oh, of, of fuel tanks I'm using I'm gauging by what it normally, what I normally think I would need with, um, oh, Brune, interesting, there, yeah, Brune. 
uh, what I would normally need with liquid fuel engines, but I think with these hydrogen engines it might be a little different. And that's fine. Let's see how far we get with this. With the explosion. Oh right, I see. Periapsis is gaining. Okay, so that was not very efficient, but we are... Hold on. Almost in space properly. Let's just, let's just accelerate a little bit further in this direction, just a little bit, there we go. Now how much delta V would we need to get an encounter with the moon? Probably much, much, much more than I've got. Yeah, so I can get an encounter, but it's going to eat up a lot of stage two, which is what we need to get back. Hmm. What if I don't have this manned? What if I just put on a probe instead? No, it won't get landing gear. If I just put on a probe car instead, then we can actually use all of that. But no, that wouldn't work because we need it with those things attached. Hmm. Maybe this just isn't strong enough. Maybe I just need additional fuel in this bit. Let's try that. Yeah, I have to also hopefully I think I'm probably over-engineering this. Is there a way I can filter engines by... Oh, those are the ones that I was looking for before. The Reliant and the Swivel, they look like this in this bit. Ah. Two or five. Two or three. With an ISP of... 376 265 Hmm Okay, doesn't seem like there's that big of a difference So Let's put these ones off for now Let's see about Well, what if we just added a little bit more fuel up here? So, made this one oxidizer, and then added one of these ones. Liquid hydrogen, yes. So that it's the exact same setup, so we don't need to funnel any sort of stuff, fuel, some might say. Uh, there's not even be enough, be enough space down here, is there? No. Oh. Okay, technically there is, but it doesn't look good. Plus, I'm not sure how comfortable I am about that, technically. That technically shouldn't explode and let's just say our four let's have them arranged slightly different manner let's have them arranged like this instead which means we can then have some more solar panels on here where did I place it ah not back there I want no that's not what I wanted one moment grab that Put that on here. I realize that this is going to make it much, much, much 
harder to launch. Which some might say is an issue. Hmm. Let's put on... Do I need cones? I probably need cones. This should probably be... No, not like that. Hold on. That's wrong. This should probably detach. So, let's put on... Two decouplers. And let's put them on like that. Which means that down here, this bit isn't going to be strong enough, is it? Hmm. I highly doubt that it is. Well. What if instead of all the... Well, I... I don't know. Maybe. Um, Ryan, but where's the NCs 1864? <laughs> Maybe add girder supports and put the fuel tanks on that so that they're further away from the central bit. Well, I have, I don't have those girder supports yet, I think. Let's, <laughs> what I really want to do is just strap on boosters, but uh, I somehow doubt that that's going to accomplish much. But maybe, you never know. What if I just add some boosters onto the side here? That is... that looks horribly inefficient. And I'm, I'm probably over-engineering this, because the issue, the, the issue with the rocket equation is you add more f more boosters, which is more fuel, which means you need more boosters to carry those up, which means that this all just looks like it's getting out of hand. No. Maybe just smaller ones. Also, I did have to look up the NC number. Hahaha. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Let's maybe, le maybe see what the hammers can do for us. Hmm, yeah. Let's see what hammer, what the hammers can do. Okay, so hammers fire, along with all those other ones, along with that central one. Then the hammers detach, then all of those detach, then what is that? No, 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 do not detach those now. Those need to be t detached later. Okay, so those all detach down there. Then... Wait. Those detach. Then I need a group down here for... No, not that. For this to detach. And for that thruster to fire. Then... Well, actually, that thruster and these thrusters to fire. Then the next thing I want to have happen is these detach, then those detach, then that, and that ignites, then that detaches, and that. Okay. Uh, this is probably going to go terribly. Let's try it. Maybe I should have started with smaller steps instead of launching four of them at the same time. If I only try to launch one or two of them, then build a launch vehicle that can do that. But instead of having it launch four plus a manned return mission, might be a bit much. Ooh, that looks wobbly. I, I, that looks unsafe. 
Also, why, where is our energy going? It keeps... Hmm. Anyway. So. Let's, let's, let's try this. Mm, here we go. Ah, it looks too wobbly. It's too wobbly. It's very, very wobbly. Ugh, yes. This is... it. This is so inelegant. So inelegant. And detach those. Come on. Don't crash into the other stuff, please. I think it's crashed into the other stuff. Hold on. It's calculating explosions, I think. Yeah, that did not end well. Hold on. Okay. That... That pretty much ended as terribly as it could have ended. Uh... Ish. What does this detach? Yeah, might as well detach that. That's a move. Oh. Looks like it's filled to the brim with mystery goo. Yeah. That did not end well. But hey. We'll probably be able to test what this top stage can do. Yeah, we just lost all of that in one go, which is terrible. Yeah, that is what I was worried about. Hmm. Maybe I can put on those de decaplatron solid rocket boosters on the solid rocket boosters. But hey, we learn stuff and we burn stuff. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. The stream will be archived, right? Yes. Oh, we've gone half an hour over time. I'm so sorry. I was... I completely forgot about that. Okay, well... After this flight, I'll, I'll end the stream. What do you mean, better make it worth it? Most of my bottom stage exploded. <laughs> this has no chance of getting there, but I will learn about how this top stage handles. The couple, there we go. Those three boosters are firing, which is good. Oh, this, ah! Mm, maybe this has enough kick now. Because it's definitely got enough kick to get us into space. Hmm. Actually, who knows? So th I need this to be uh, 15, 16, 17 seconds. 17 second burn. I mean, this already looks better, in my opinion, at least. Okay, let's try and keep it on the marker. Well, now it's only 30 second burn. So that means 15 seconds. We're in space, good, good. Fire.
<clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Even with losing that bottom stage, we do now have enough fuel to circularize the orbit. We've got a little bit left over. It's probably not going to be enough to actually get anywhere useful. No, I didn't mean to warp there, but okay. Yeah, that's going to eat up most of stage two as well. But if we hadn't lost most of that bottom stage... This might have worked. Might have worked. Hmm. Oh! Oh, wait! Wait, 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 we might have more than I thought. Wait, I, I, did I put on the fuel ducts? Did I put on the fuel ducts or did I forget? Oh no, I think I, I forgot to put on... Ah... Uh, I think I put on the f I forgot to put on the fuel ducts. I put on the decouplers for these. But I didn't put on the fuel ducts. No! Hmm. Space, space, space. Yes, I know you're, you're, you are mate. We're both in space. Yes. Let's see. I think I forgot to put those in. Uh. Yeah, I did. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'll quickly... I, w I know that I will forget, so I will quickly put on the fuel ducts. And then I'll end the stream. Unless it's just crashed. I hope it's not cra No, it's not crashed. Good. Ah, uh, hold on. I need to quickly zoom in. Let's put that in there. And mm, let's put that in there. Oh, that's not been, that's not got symmetry on, okay. And you know what? Since I've got the, actually do I? Maybe if I just put these all the way down here, maybe that'll work. Anyway, um, I don't think I've got the Separatron thing that yet that I was looking for. The little... Although I, I thought I saw it. Huh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't utility. Ah, no, I do have it. Launch escape system. That's what I meant. Okay, so which way is this turned? Okay, wait. So that's going that way. Which means I need this to go this way. I know that looks even more ridiculous. But... So those need to fire, then when those decouple, this needs to fire. So all of those fire as that decouples. Uh, sorry, search filter? One part. Never properly use those. Okay, well, we, c we won't be able to see how this works this time, because we've run out of time actually a while ago. But hey, KSP, 11 months. 
It's only been a week, right? Uh, this is such an over-engineered rocket to just get a, some satellites to the moon. I think I might need to redesign all of this. Just look at this. It's so much stuff. Too much stuff. Way too much stuff. But it does deserve another test. But I can't do that yet. Okay, I'll leave. I'll end the stream. I'll end the stream. I have to save first, though. This was not how I was planning to do this. I thought, okay, we'll get some more signs from the moon. And then we'll design something that can... Uh, like a, a probe that might be able to go into deep space or something like that. But apparently that's not how it goes. But yeah, we will get more KSP next Monday. Uh, I don't know. I Maybe Human for Flat next Monday. Oh. I don't know what it's called. Mm. I think it autosaves. Hold on, can I quick save? I'll just do quick save as quick save one. If I go exit to main menu, I think it auto saves. I need to quickly test that. One moment. I think it automatically saves if I press go to main menu. I'll quickly test. Just need to quickly load in, see if my craft is still there. If it is, then that's good. Yeah, it does take a while to load in. And let's go to the launch pad. Is it there? Yes, it is. Two versions of it for some reason. Oh, that's the old one and that's the new one. Maybe that is... I don't know. I don't know. And that's the difference. Oh, right. First spacer. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I remember this thing. The Space Strider. This thing made it into orbit, I think. I think this one was quite successful. Yeah, this one I think made it all the way to the moon. <laughs> Maybe we should just take take this one, use the launch vehicle and just put the rockets on there. That might work better. Then this it's basically a monstrosity. Um anyway, I'll close. I'll close out of it. Because I didn't put them in. Really quit, and um, uh, sure. Science? What do you mean? Hopefully quit without crashing. Oh, I see. Might take a moment. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to do the outro as it's quitting. So thank you all very much for watching. Of course, this stream will be archived. Sorry for going so much over time. I just didn't, didn't think of the time at all. And... Good night.
Hmm. Oh, and it's quit. Good. <laughs>